as I said, this is my non vloggy video. Woo! Because I have a fandom theory, as you may be able to guess from. Sorry, there's. You can see a corner. Uh. Never mind, I think the top corner. Um. I have a fandom theory. It's about Supergirl. You may be able to guess from the title. It's to do with Maxwell Lord and Cat Grant. So, I just want to clarify. I do not ship them. I can see why people might. I do not think it's a bad thing. Which is a weird statement, considering the theory I'm about to pro. pro la, 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 la. Considering the theory I'm about to propose to you. Sorry, I'm very excited. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that might sound weird. I am a massive, massive. Maxwell Lord Alex Danvers shipper. I just, I, I just think they're so cute. I don't care if you don't like it or if you think she's just... If he's flirting back to be annoying, if he's flirting to be annoying and she's flirting back because it helps the DEO or whatever, I think they're cute. Sorry if you don't, but yeah, you might want to stop watching this video. Or if you, if you ship Back to the Lord and Cat Grant, you definitely want to stop watching this video now. Just saying that. Um, <coughs> yeah. As it says in the description, which you probably haven't read, this has spoilers for up to Series 1, Episode 19, Myriad of Supergirl. So, if you're not caught up, you might not want to watch this video. Also, it won't make a lot of sense unless you've watched that episode, because I'll be referencing stuff. You need to look at the camera. Boo. <sighs> now, in Myriad, we saw some pretty sweet interactions between Kat and Max. Like the earrings where he wanted to preserve her brain. And we've actually seen quite a bit of character development, sort of. It's, it's not so much development as introspection. I don't know. We've had an insight into Max and the way his mind works. And we found out more about how his mum and dad died. Not only was it in react anything that he blames on the government, but he also blames himself because he didn't push hard enough, but he more blames the government because they didn't li listen to him because he was an 11-year-old boy. And probably a smarmy annoyance even then. Yeah. So now he has a chance to save people. Including someone whose brain he wants to save. Because he can't imagine a world without Cat Grant's mind in it, which is why he sends her the earrings. But if you looked carefully, they weren't big, flashy showpieces. They weren't these amazing things. They were very cat in that they were elegant and simple. But cat can be flashy, but with her jewellery, she's normally more pared down and tasteful. I'm not saying cat isn't tasteful. I love cat. Um, and they were very simple, and they were very elegant, and very pretty, and very cat. But he said he wanted to preserve her mind. And he broke. My theory is that because he couldn't protect his mum, or and his dad, his parental figures when he was younger, he's now trying to protect Cat, who's a strong, smart older woman in his life, who's almost, almost like a mentor to him in some ways in how to be a smart business person. So I think he looks up to Kat quite a lot and sees protecting her as a way of protecting his parents in a way he couldn't. That she almost becomes the parental figure in his life. Because he doesn't have anyone. Which is why lots of people theorise he reaches... Theorise... Which is why lots of people theorise he reaches out to Alex. Because he doesn't have anyone. But I think he has Kat in their weird way 
Because he doesn't want to live in a world where he's lost another parental figure. He can't. That's why he tries so hard. That's why he has hope that this time his intervention will work. I, I know that's it gets complicated because she's also, in some ways, Kara's maternal fi- another one of Kara's maternal figures. And then she's also Max's maternal fi- Max's parental figure, and then Kara and Alex's sisters, and I ship Alex and Max, but... Eh. I don't see it as... They aren't a family. There is... There's some sort of partnership development, sort of, weirdly, between Max and Kara, which is very contradictory to the comics, but I'm not even going to go there, so please don't mention it. Um... Ah, I'm buzzing. Um, so yeah, this is my theory to you, that Max sees Kat as a parental figure in his life and he would do anything to protect her in a way he wasn't able to protect his parents all those years ago. And he has hope that this time maybe he can succeed. I think that's pretty cute. I like Max. I know he's a complete arse at times, but he can. He has his moments. Like when he admitted to Red Crypt tonight. Sorry. Just thinking of Alex. Never mind. Um, yeah, that's my entire theory. <laughs> but, yeah. I'll be putting a link to this on Tumblr, so. That's it. Bye.